hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are here with one interesting super badge which is nothing but flow data collection optimization super badge unit so let's take up this challenge now and guys this super badge also contains special developer edition organization to be connected in our org so as i have already completed those steps i'm directly going to take up this challenge now let's launch this playground now so here in quick find we are going to search flow click on flows and here given the list of flows we are going to select a flow called suspended account so click on suspended account here we need to get a toolbar as we are going to add a new resource click on the button which is left to select elements on your top left corner so here click on new resource select resource type as variable and for api name i am going to provide it as stage opportunity record so type it over here stage opportunity record so now i am going to provide data type as record followed by object as opportunity click on opportunity now let's select this checkbox as well which is allow multiple values collection now click on done and guys again we are going to add one new resource here we are going to give resource type as variable and for api name i'm going to give it as owner opportunity records So once it is done, let's go to our data type and give it as record for opportunity as object. And now we are going to click this checkbox as well. Now let's click on done. So guys, once it is done, let's add one new assignment between update stage and update current opportunity so i'm going to add element click on add element here i'm going to choose assignment now click on assignment here for label i'm going to provide it as assignment stage opportunity so let's give it as assign stage opportunity and api name is sort of populator for variable i am going to give it as stage opportunity records operator as add and for value i am going to give it as current item from loop update followed by done so yeah guys we have successfully created one assignment between a update stage and update current opportunity now let's delete this update current opportunity so click on delete element and below negotiation review we are going to add one more assignment search for assignment click on it let's fill this now so i'm going to provide label as assign owner opportunity and api name is auto populated and for variable i am going to give it as owner opportunity records operator as add followed by value as current item from loop update opportunity now click on done now as per our challenge we just need to delete two elements now i am going to delete this assignment followed by this update opportunity click on delete and above end we are just going to add one more element called update records now search for update record click on that let's fill our label as update stage opportunity and followed by how to find records to update and set their values i'm going to choose this third radio button and for this record collection we are going to give it as stage opportunity records once it is done click on done we are going to add one more element here as subflow click on subflow 
and for reference flow we are going to choose the first option right over here and for label I am going to give it as negotiation update so type it as negotiation update let's go to our API name which is auto populated let's scroll down and let's include this review opportunities and here we are going to select stage opportunity records so let's check once whether it is stage Uh, so guys it should be owner opportunity records so click on owner opportunity records once it is done click on done it's time to check our challenge before that let's save this and activate this as well click on activate so once it is activated let's go back to our challenge and let's check our first challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge so let's take up our second challenge now and for this we are going to select one flow called 30 day case review so click on that 30 day case review flow uh, once you have opened this flow let's go to our free form here we are just going to add one new collection on your left side we are going to add one collection filter by dragging and dropping over here and for that I am going to give label as mentioned in our challenge which is nothing but filter for status so copy this and paste it over here and for collection we are going to provide it as cases from get cases and for field I am just going to give it as status operators as equal and value I am just going to give it as current filter so it is right over here once it is done click on done now let's bring our assignment over here let's delete all this roadmap so remove everything and now we are going to connect start from get record remove this as well from get record to collection filter and double click on assignment here we are going to change operator as equals and for value cases from filter for status click on that and once it is done click on done so guys uh, as per our challenge it is mentioned like assignment element should be your end element so for that we are going to delete everything which is over here so our collection filter should be connected with assignment and let's bring this assignment and screen over upwards and delete all the connection between these two which is assignment and screen now let's delete this loop as well as our decision now let's bring our screen and assignment to upwards let's connect assignment with screen screen to assignment assignment to screen so this is how our connection should look like now let's save this click on save and activate this as well so guys hopefully we have completed our second challenge as well so let's go back to our challenge and check our second challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed our second challenge as well let's take up our third challenge now so for this let's go back to our flow we are going to create a new flow click on new flow 
and here as per our challenge it is mentioned like we have to create a record trigger flow click on record trigger flow click on create now here we are going to give object name as account and for configure trigger we are going to select a record is updated and it's time to set our condition now i am going to give condition with and so for field i am going to provide it as industry click on industry and for operator we are going to give it as is changed and for value give true now click on done so here we are going to add one more element uh, which is update triggering record click on that so guys as per our challenge we need to add one new record over there so let's cancel this and let's add our new record click on get records and here i'm just going to give get opportunity and api name is auto populated and for object i'm just going to select opportunity let's set our condition now so for field i'm going to choose account id operator should be equals and for value we are just going to select record followed by id so search for id or else type id over here you will get so click on that id now let's choose all records and click on done and guys now we are going to add one new assignment over here click on assignment for label i am going to provide it as let's give it as count opportunity and api name is auto populated and for variable we are just going to give a new resource give resource type as variable and for api name i am just going to provide it as number of opportunities we have given api name here now for data type we are going to select it as number let's remove this decimal place and click on done so for operator we are going to give it as equals count and for value we are going to give it as opportunities from get opportunities now click on done so let's add one more element over here so before that uh, let's uh, edit our get records double click and here we need to add two more conditions as well so give stage name as field so click on stage name operator should be does not equal and value we are going to give it as close the one let's add one more condition here select stage name does not equals and here we are going to give it as close the lost so select that once it is done click on done so now we are going to add new element as decision over here so search for decision click on that and for label i'm just going to give it as records for evaluation and for label we are going to give it as more than 3 and now we just need to click on this default outcome on our left side and for label we need to provide it as 3 or fewer so we have added our label over there now click on more than 3 and for year we need to provide resource as number of opportunity operator should be greater than value as 3 so once it is done click on done so below this 3 or fewer let's add one new loop element so select loop here i'm just going to provide label as update stage so once it is done let's go to our collection variable and give get opportunities once it is done click on done 
and below this for each we are going to add one assignment element so click on assignment provide label as assign stage so now for variable we are just going to provide it as current item from loop update followed by stage name so click on stage name operator should be equals and for value we are going to provide it as needs analysis once if we complete this step we need to click on done now and guys here we are going to add new element below assign stage so click on assignment for label provide it as assign opportunity to update record so once it is given api name is auto populated and for variable we are going to provide new resource click on new resource and select type as variable for this api name give opportunity to update so once it is given let's go to our data type and give it as record select object as opportunity now let's check this check box as well click on done and for operator we are going to give add for value select this current item from loop update opportunity update stage sorry so now click on done so guys let's add one more element from this connectivity so click on add element we are going to choose update triggering record so for label uh, give it as update opportunity and api name is auto populated and for this we are going to choose our second radio button which is update record and related to the account record that trigger that flow oh sorry guys it should be use the ids and all field values from record or record creation and here click on opportunity to update now click on done now let's save this flow with the name of account industry change click on save let's activate this flow and hopefully we have completed our third challenge as well let's go back to our challenge now and let's check this challenge so yeah guys we have successfully completed this challenge as well so see you all on next video until then bye bye